Welcome back everyone to Let's Play War on the Sea in the U.S. Campaign episode number four. In episode three at the very end we accomplished a very successful strike with our Avengers uh, managing to hit all four of the main ships in this six ship, six ship fleet. So the two destroyers are un, uh, currently undamaged but I mean obviously if it comes down to it I would trust our Atlanta to be able to take care of the two destroyers. Um, so I'm not too worried if we get into a head-to-head -head with that. What I am worried about is how we can force the fires that are currently prevalent across both of the Japanese heavy cruisers, both the Aoba and the Tone. Um, now these fires are currently on the, on the top, on the deck, but there's also potentially fires below. We see a lot of smoke. So right now I have Avenger number three breaking off from the group. This is the only undamaged Avenger that I think I have control of. Except for maybe this one. You also... This is also an undamaged one. Okay, so we'll get, we'll get this one to just do some navigation down here as well. And this is what I want to do, is just move around them. And also get a lot of altitude. Hopefully that this one is getting altitude. It is. Um, because we want to just move around and keep those fires burning for as long as possible. So the fact that I'm experiencing some AA here means I'm just too low. And who's the other one? Is it eight is coming back? It is. So eight, your orders are also to just climb, climb, climb. Climb, get speed, and then we'll deal with the rest later. So we just want to make sure these fires burn. Otherwise, what I would do is just leave the battle. And I don't know what happens when we leave the battle. Um, I don't know if it would stop simulating or what. So I guess we can also technically get them to waste their ammunition. <laughs> So we'll just do some lazy circles around these guys um, and let the fires tick. I don't know if I need to record all of this. I mean, I'm extremely pumped right now. Wait. I'm only counting... It's so cool the, the way it happens. I'm only counting right now five ships. Did one of them go down? Oh my gosh. I think one of the ships has been sunk. Wait a second. This is two ships. <laughs> well, I don't think this is intentional, but I would like to pretend that this is uh, the... What's it called? The Nagara pulling alongside to try to assist. Let's role play it that way, because that's pretty cool if we could. She's pulling alongside to assist, but really what's happening is <laughs> they're having some collision issues. Okay. So we'll continue. Yeah, it just looks a little too funny, a little too wide. Make our turn from here, and we have climbed above 5,000, so I think that we're gonna have a little bit of a better time. Shouldn't be experiencing as much flak. You are at 6,000, okay. So we can probably stop at like 7,000 or so. Looks like that's already a safe altitude. Yeah, Avengers leaving the engagement area, that's fine. Just for now, let me continue to patrol. Yeah, they don't seem to bother you much from this angle, which is something to remember when our B-17s end up coming in. We can try to skip bomb, which is fun. I mean, for those of you who watched my stream from yesterday, you can skip bomb an entire plane right into a Yamato if you're not careful. But probably if we don't do skip bombing, it's nice to know that at least... Uh, you're a little too close now, because so you're still... Yeah, you can uh, just level bomb without too much interference, so it looks like they're still able to fire at you, despite being, you know, I mean, 5,000 feet up in the air, I'm not surprised. Come back. So, yeah, let me just cut away here while we let the, it looks like the last fire might be out now. And beautiful graphics, by the way. So, um, let me just cut away from this for a little bit, and I'll come back when I'm ready to leave this battle. Okay, we're leaving the engagement. We've done our work here. So, heavy damage on the Tone, moderate damage on the other three, and then the Minikaze and Masashio. Of course, I labeled these. This could be a misidentification still. Yeah, look at that. Floody, flooding. Ah, this is perfect. We did lose one aircraft, but I think that those are acceptable. I would call those more than acceptable casualties for a very successful strike. And what's better, of course, about all of this is the fact that my Dauntless knows exactly where to go right through the middle 
So just a little bit before that, we'll want to uh, we want to lead a little bit though. And they were pretty far away though. Okay, let's do something like this. They might actually, the Japanese might actually turn around. Um, we're not sure. And this is the exciting thing, so we don't know. Uh, now you guys were unfortunately pretty useless, so I still want to have you in the battle just in case you don't become totally useless. In fact, I want you to just move and stop exactly where they were so that I know where my Dauntlesses should start going in the world. I think this is a right, about the right spot. So let's go into the world here, cross our fingers, see if we got them. Not seeing them, which is not a good sign. Let's see if I can give an order to send them up this way. Just have everyone fan out and take a look. Oh, okay, we have a, a search plane down here. Uh, I think they're down here. I think they're down here. So let me actually get the Wildcats to break off a second group. And you form up. So we, but I'm pretty sure this is a, a float plane launching from, probably from the, uh, the ships. No, maybe not. Okay, well anyways, your job is just to go after this. And we'll start looking for the, um, the missing ships. I guess that is the one disadvantage of them putting fires out so quickly. We aren't able to quickly see them. So we might have missed them all together. It would be a bummer. Now, once they finish their rounds... Okay, that's basically what I want to make sure. Keep going. We don't want them to actually stop. Yeah, we'll probably have to break these people into smaller groups as well. So this Dauntless 9. Okay, well, keep going for now. Fast forward. Can we? Cannot. Okay, well, I'll come back to you if we find anything. Well, unfortunately, I missed them somehow. So that's frustrating. I don't know which way to go. So what I'm going to do is move you back this way, and just in case, move you back this way. I think that those are really the only two realistic options, that they could be moving back, or they could be moving. So, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to find out. So, let's just go a little bit further. Let's try here in the world. Maybe the wildcat can go here. Yeah, so we're kind of close. Let's see, what's the... In yeah, so you guys are going to be outside of the engagement circle right away, the Dauntlesses. The Wildcats can do a little bit of scouting. I'll, I'll just cut back if we find anything. Nothing here. Man, this is it's getting frustrating. Which is cool. I mean, it's cool to be frustrated because that's how it would, we'd expect it to be frustrating. Let's try the world here. Why not? I'll just cut back if we find something. Okay, nothing there either. I, I'm going to attempt one other thing. I'm just going to try to head north. <clears throat> I'm also going to send this guy north as he already is going, just to see if we can find them. Okay, let's just check the world. I'll keep going. <sighs> okay, no luck. So where the hell would they go? I feel like it's... something is a little bit unusual about this, just because once you've spotted an enemy... I mean, okay. I think I somehow get the impression we should be able to find them. What happened that we lost them? You're almost done, so let's just start getting you heading home. Oh... Okay. 
That's not good. Well, the Dauntless is how much range do you guys have? 162? Okay, you have range to get here, but you're now desperately needed over there. This will be probably the big fleet we saw earlier. They had, what, two cruisers, two destroyers, and a whole bunch of transport ships. So, Farragut Selfridge, this will be kind of an interesting fight. Um, let me let me just make a quick save and then we'll jump in. Okay. Well, let's get these guys going maximum speed because I'm not super... Well, okay, we'll, we'll have them stay in formation for now. Is it just... Oh, okay, is it just a... a submarine? Oh, they're behind us. It didn't give me a chance to not accept it. Let's turn on radar. Okay, another aircraft. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... What's the best way of handling this? Yeah, we're doing some damage here. Actually, it'll be so sad if I don't end up getting a kill after all that work. These are fighters, so that's the good news. They might go on a strafing run, though, which, you know, I mean, we can, we should be able to repair the damage from those, no problem. I'm going to try to present my broadside. If we wanted, we could take a look at the recognition manual for the Farragut's. Take a look at the anti-aircraft. Yeah. So we want to angle a little bit more nose on, because the radius for the nose is a little bit weaker. We're basically doing that perfectly. Okay, here we go. So we should get a good amount of AA fire here. Yeah, I think we will. Okay, we are definitely taking some hits. One down. Fire control, I mean the, um, the, what are they called? Damage control parties have already been dispatched. We have a little bit of flooding. More importantly is the fire. Oh my god. <laughs> I would say do it automatically, but no, the fire is much more important. I don't know what, what's going on there. So, I would say a very successful run. <laughs> Are they going to come around for another pass? I don't think so. So, just shot down one. We took some damage. Damage control parties are... Oh! Stupid me. Let's set our speed down to zero. What happened? Break. Zero. Okay. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that is not good. Okay, that's, it's really not the right time to be stopped. Okay, hey, Farragut, I need you to make a big circle and screen. I think we have enough time to do, to still execute this. Hopefully we can get the Selfridge's con uh, fires, oh my god, under control. Look, at fires is just more important. Oh my god, we have fires everywhere. Oh god. Yeah, I don't really want any of this stuff blown up. <clears throat> okay, well, we'll deal with the flooding later. Although, unfortunately, if the flooding completely fills that chamber, it will slowly reduce the integrity. But the fires, I mean, those just, just that's how you lose a ship. 
So I really like the way damage control is modeled in this game. I don't know if I mentioned that, but this just feels so much better than, for example, the Ultimate Admiral's system. And both of those, these systems are a much better attempt than pretty much anything else I've experienced in ship control games, ship management games. I mean, except for things like, of course, like U-Boat or um, Silent Hunter, where, you, you know, the part of the... <laughs> you're only controlling, like, one ship. In those cases, yeah, it's a little bit different. So, I think what I'm going to do is have Farragut just charge at these other ships. And hopefully she will end up... <laughs> You know, getting, drawing the brunt of everything towards her. We need to be heading around here. Okay, good, that's, that's good. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, good, wow, okay, well, it looks like we're just gonna get things under control just in time. I have to, unfortunately, preemptively start getting some speed going. And I want to start turning like one direction or another just so we're not... I guess we'll want to turn right. We don't want to be perfectly nose-on with the target. Oh, what the hell? Are you? I did not give you an order to turn left. The last thing I gave you was an order to Q, which is to go rudder or midship. I, this game ugh, is frustrating sometimes. Is like is an order to the Farragut? An order to the... I don't, I don't understand. Okay, so you're controlling everything. 46 seconds, 108. Okay, losing contact with those aircraft. Switch back, Q, and come back north now. Can I see the aircraft yet? The ideal would be to move away from them at the same time that, yeah, we just, oh god, oh, the fires are spreading. Okay, 15 seconds, I will wait the 15 seconds for that. We'll swap over. There's no fires on the surface, I don't know why it shows fires on the surface, there's none. There could be soon, but there are not right now. Okay, good, we swapped over to the fires, good, perfect, okay. There's some hope here. Yeah, you're... I don't know why you're so difficult to control. Maybe I'll just give you a nav order. <sighs> Alright, and while Farragut does that, you're slowly getting underway. Okay. Okay, your rudder amidships, I'm leaving you. Do not start turning. Okay, fires are getting under control. We don't have to kick things up into maximum speed quite yet. But, oh, okay, fire. Just have to switch to the fire first. That's how we can lose the ship. All right. All right, now I need you to turn around to protect. And Selfridge, it's the moment has come. We need maximum speed. You got to make it out of this first. Okay, this this is so good having. Oh man. Oh my gosh. We just. Oh wow. They did go after the Farragut. It turns out. And they missed. Okay, so what that means is I need to go back to the Selfridge. Take you down to zero. Just start licking your wounds again. All stop essentially. Yeah, we, we can go chase them off. <laughs> so we did damage one, we didn't actually kill anything, but thank god the Farragut was the one who was going like <laughs> 30 knots or so. It was very difficult. Did a little maneuver, which I actually was maneuvering so that we could reverse course. I thought for sure they'd go for the wounded smoking Selfridge, but they didn't. They left her alone. We can roleplay this, perhaps mistaking her for already sunk. I know that there's a lot of overkill and a lot of mistaken underkill on uh, on ships you know, just it's very difficult for um, aircraft to really be able to determine the true state of a ship is it already sinking or not but we managed to survive this now 
Vowels. <clears throat> Zeros. Lots of aircraft. Does this mean that there's an aircraft carrier? No, I, I think... If I had to guess, I would say that we're just being attacked by land aircraft. But it'll factor into our... I mean, our brains are going to be thinking about this. We know we were attacked over here by potentially carrier-borne aircraft. So, that's something we'll have to consider. Now, how are you doing, Selfridge? Have you controlled everything yet? Mostly. Okay, so now we just have to F9... Wait for the fire control parties to... The damage control parties even to do their work. And slow down with you. And I will cut back when the fires are all under control and we're ready to go. And there you have it, back up to tip-top shape, ready to get out of here. <laughs> no damage. <laughs> so you only get damage if one of your compartments is completely destroyed. So end end up being a nice absorbing attack. Or absorbing defense, I suppose I should say. Now we're still not sure where... So obviously we need to continue looking for the other ships over here. I feel like we're <clears throat> not going to end up fighting them. And that's going to be really frustrating, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me, yeah, just keep circling here. They should be here. Can they hover indefinitely in place? Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have to ignore. Okay, please, 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 please. 80. Oh my gosh, it's right at the brink. <clears throat> They're still making very, very, very good speed. Now, I obviously... Oh, I could... I think I can launch the 11 Avengers. Um, I don't think we have time to wait for the Dauntlesses, most unfortunately. I think that it's possible they won't even get there in time. Yeah, I'm going to launch the Avengers, and what we can do is just keep them. So let's ignore this and get you guys set on a course right over here. 0 0.2 hours. How long are you guys going to take to get to target? 0 0.4 hours. We can delay. I think we can delay a little bit. So we'll just kind of set a zigzag course to monitor them. And the moment they go away, though, we're going to, you know, essentially... Actually, I think I can just sit right on top of them. <laughs> Come on in. The water's warm. Okay. Just in case I want to move down a little bit. Just in case that they have moved, because this feels a little bit weird. Okay, now let's enter the world and see what we have. Start. So the other ones, they, they did not join the battle. There are the ships, though. The Dauntlesses did not join the battle, but we know exactly where the ships are. Okay. <clears throat> let's take a look at our dear friends here and see if they're showing any signs of damage. They most certainly are. Okay, fantastic. So, well, I guess there's really no difference. We're going to run the exact same maneuver. I could do hammer and anvil. One thing I was thinking about after my last engagement was if I had come in from both sides, <clears throat> they wouldn't have been able to do any dodging, but they don't dodge anyway, so we don't... I guess we don't care. So we'll do the same kind of thing here. Run our planes off to the northwest. What time is it? It's still afternoon, so the, it is better to come from this angle, even though I don't know how much it matters in this game again, but that's fine. I'm gonna do something like that. So let's just follow the same thing. <clears throat> and then see how we're doing at the end of this. No, nope, we only have three Avengers. So these should probably be the ones who come in last. <clears throat> against the uh, Aoba, was it? Yeah, Aoba. Okay, so get underway. Sea is really quite nice, very calm. I would love to have a submarine 
well, I guess I would love to be doing anti-submarine patrol stuff here, but let's take some time. I guess I'll cut away right now, and I'm going to go ahead and identify all these ships again, just for fun. Well, um, this is a bit unfortunate. That same bug I encountered, and looks like over half of my fleet is, or uh, aircraft are bugged out. So of the 11, I only have five aircraft which are responsive. Everyone else is doing the heading 000 thing. So six of my 11 aircraft, over half, are just going to head off the map. Another interesting development is, and let me actually get nine to, okay, so let's see, four to take, no, no, two, four, seven, nine and eleven. Let's get all these to form up, which is the entire group I have left. Let's get two to head, head like this. <clears throat> and make sure you drop your altitude very low. So they'll, oh god, what are they doing? Nine, 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 nine. Okay, good, good, good. Nine is responsive now. So it looks like 9 and 11 will just do their own thing. They're apparently buddies. Um, the interesting development is that some of the ships are completely stopped. Only right now, the Aoba is moving, but the tone is stopped. Basically, these are stopped, and I, I don't know why. I think it's, I think it's because that they were, they took damage. So I guess we'll just go in and try to kill the ones that are stationary. We'll call, we'll pretend that they are stationary because they're doing damage control. A lot of roleplay. I mean, look at <laughs> We have to roleplay that in, in theory, this battle should be an 11 Avenger strike that happens against six functional ships. But in the end, it's going to be five Avengers striking one functional and four un <laughs> five non-functional ships. <laughs> But whatever, I mean, we'll just, we'll make do with what we got. So, you're doing a sweep, good. You guys are low to the ground, that's good. So let's start giving targets. I think the group of three, actually, I might even break them up even more. So the group of three, I do want to attack the Aoba. Do I? No, I want the group of two to attack the Aoba. So you attack the Aoba, that's actually fine. Go ahead and go in. And you, let's target the Aoba. Okay, sorry. Let me have you reform up. I prefer it in a group. And yeah. So now target the Aoba. Attack. Good. Now two, four, and seven, I guess. Yeah. You guys are going to do something else. Oh, no, 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 wait, what happened? Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I lost him for a second. We're going to do maybe two torpedoes against the um, Tone, and then one against the Nagara, I think. So that means number seven will break off and do an attack at the very end. Target. Okay. Let's go in and number seven, you're gonna target. I'm I think I'll do number seven manually. If they're dead stopped, then this should be pretty easy for me. And then I can break off a little bit earlier. Okay, the rounds are coming in. Speed up. I don't know, is can you launch from super fast speeds? get down to, what is it, 20 feet, okay, let's make our run now, okay, I think we're about lined up, slow down a little bit, I think I'm going to do a small little wiggle, to the left, and bomb bay's open, Zombies open. Crap, crap, crap. Yeah, she's not 
not gonna make it. Now leave it to me to bungle it. <laughs> we did get a hit. Argar was struck. We lost two aircraft so far. And got another hit. Our thing's going over here. This is looking good. Oh, only one dropped. Wonder why the other ones aren't dropping. Oh, they're dead. Could be a hit though. It, wow. So, oh, okay. Tone was struck. Got it. Nagara is sinking. Oh, fantastic. So it's probably worth it. Although we're gonna lose. We're gonna need to do. Okay. Please pause. Please pause the game. I don't know why it's. I'm letting me pause. We need to make sure that these guys do not return to the scene of the crime. You can unpause now. It should be spacebar, but it's not working right now. Okay, good. And I don't want to change these guys because they're in the middle of... Um, they're right in the middle of leaving the scene. And if I move them, they might head north right back through the <laughs> through all of it. Okay, so Nagara's dead. That's our first victory. Our first real victory. Uh, Tome was struck by one more torpedo. Oh, she's still firing? Gosh, get out of here. And they've been hit every single time on the right, which means awesome. This is awesome. There should be a lot of list to the starboard side. Like, we can definitely see it happening here, which means they'll have to counter flood, and all these things are working to our advantage. So I do need somebody, some brave soldier. You're not available. Okay, nine. Fantastic. Wait! Hey, oh, we do have two here. Okay, so we didn't lose everyone. Um, <clears throat> let's have Eleven go in by herself. Climb, speed. I just want, again, the same thing. Make sure that we don't uh, let them get off the hook too early. So at this point, I think... I can just pause while we let the, the fires set in and see, like, this is bad. This is looking very bad for her, which is good for us. That is a serious list. What is that, like a, maybe a 15 degree? Maybe not. Uh, it looks around, I mean, it looks severe. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be on that vessel right now. Or if I was on that vessel, I would be making sure I know exactly where the nearest lifeboat is. Which means I probably wouldn't be much of a Japanese sailor, because I guess that the kind of cowardice would not be allowed. So they have actually stopped the fires on this thing. Oh, they stopped the fires on this thing, too. Damn. Yeah, it looks like we're actually okay to just skip on out of here, but oh my gosh, this thing is so close to going down. We know we've done a lot of damage, right? So. At least we got one of them. Way over there. I think it's fine now for us to go ahead and conclude this one. So it'll take me 36 seconds. That won't be much time at compressed speed. Confirm. Okay, so we sunk the Nagara and we got seven commands points for that. That's fantastic. We have done additional damage to both the Tona and Aoba. Unfortunately, the Sendai didn't get any additional damage and the two destroyers are once again untouched. We lost two additional aircraft. We'll send these RTB. And in the next fight, we know exactly where we need to approach them. Just move a little further and enter the world. And hopefully our Dauntlesses can finish off this task. Um, if you can't really do these combined attacks like this, one after another, if it does give them 60 minutes of immunity, that's really unfortunate. 
but we'll find out next time. Until then, thanks for watching, stay safe, and take care.